pleasure to be here at the invitation of the Tirupati Center. And certainly quite a Guru Puja. Have you ever seen a Guru Puja like that? I certainly never have seen a Guru Puja like that. consummate Siva Bhaktar and Siva Yogi, both a great devotee of Lord Shiva as well as a profound meditator. Siva Yoga Swami Hal India. Siva Yoga Swami Hal, or Mulimiana, Siva Bhaktarum, Siva Yogi Yum Guda, our Siva Verman Udia or Suranda Bhaktar. This combination of devotion and meditation is unique to the path of Saiva Siddhanta. Other Hindu traditions focus on either devotion or meditation, but not this one. Truth is not encompassed by books and learning. You must know yourself by yourself. There is nothing else to be known. Yoga Swami and Gurudeva are both explaining that in the great saying, know thyself, self refers to the Atma. We were told a story about Yoga Swami in an international Tamil, Tamil conference, which was being held in a religion of belief, but also one of experience. At first, we simply believe in a truth, such as the existence of our soul, our spiritual being. This, though, is only the first step. The second step is to do certain spiritual practices regularly. The third step is that we personally experience the truth, in this case, the existence of our soul. Hinduism, of course, teaches us to believe in God, but it does not stop there. Hinduism also teaches us how to experience God. taught us that the easiest way to experience God is this. Look deeply into someone's eyes. If you look deeply enough, you will find that we can also experience God when we go to the temple during the puja. We sense a divine presence, a divine energy. And then thirdly, in a line with our topic tonight, we can experience God by dhyana. So Hindus have so many wonderful ways of experiencing God. Those who practice virtuous conduct possess everything that is worthwhile. Avoidance of killing and stealing, refraining from slandering others, absence of covetousness, humility, truthfulness, and so forth. These are the characteristic characteristics of a virtuous of virtuous conduct. And restraints and their corresponding practices, which means the yamas and the yamas. Are necessary to maintain bliss consciousness.
Together, the yamas and niyamas provide the foundation. Remember that Sadhguru Yoga Swami only gave us one work to do. Know thyself, Tanai Ari. Thank you.